a message. Wagwan, real fam. Guess what? My birthday is coming. Yes, my motherfucking birthday is coming. Sounds like a lot of. You don't know how old I actually am. Most people who don't really know and don't keep up with me and my Instagram posts and all that, they don't really know. Some people just guess. And they usually guess way wrong. They usually get like. People usually say I'm like 21, 23, 25. I'm like, okay, that's a compliment, but no. <laughs> Y'all, I'm gonna be 35 on the 16th. That's crazy. Pisces, baby, yo. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be 35. That's wild, that's fucking wild. <sighs> I don't even feel like I'm about to be 35 because I haven't done as many things in life as most people would assume I would have by now or should have by now but that's everybody everybody has preconceptions of what age they're they were expected to complete certain tasks or do certain things in life you know we all kind of have that in a way based on our parents and society it's never exactly fun and I haven't done any of those things so approaching 35 is just weird to me. A lot of times I don't feel like I'm 35 because I'm just not, I'm not as grown as I want to be, if you know what I mean. And no, I'm not talking about being promiscuous or anything like that. I'm talking about other factors. I'm not <laughs> as grown as I wish to be or as other people want me to be. In the sense of, you know, just doing more in life, like managing more, like, you know, some people they have a job and they go to college as well. Like most moms, they end up going back to school because the kids are older or whatnot. They go back to school to get a degree and then they go get that degree and then they go straight into their, their field um, and their career. You know, when their kids are older, it's not my situation yet. But um, some people have done that by now or they are doing it. They are doing it while their kids are in school. But y'all know I homeschool, so that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> And even if I did do schooling <coughs> from home, I um, went to college from home, that's not a possibility right now because of school debt. I still have school debt from previously going to college way back in like fucking 2005. So, eh, no, that's not going to happen. So, me turning 35 is just kind of weird. I feel like sometimes I have that feeling like I'm not doing enough or I have not done enough. Because all I've done is just been a housewife and a mother and, and a homeschool mother. You know, anything revolving around kids. That's what I've been doing with my life. That's what I've been good at. That's what I've been surrounding myself by. But, you know, the future is important. The future generation is very important. And people, a lot of people don't pay as much attention as they should to what is going to happen with their future generation you know people don't pay attention to their kids much they just throw them to a government school and they're just like oh yeah let the teachers figure it out let, let everybody else figure it out you know they'll be all right as long as they bring home good grades that's never been me um things are definitely not perfect financially or otherwise definitely not perfect at, my, in, at this point in life i'm nowhere near where i want to be y'all <laughs> Again, as I said in, a re in another recent video, I'm a person who has like multi, or I'm multi-talented. I have many, many pursuits, many, many things that I like to do in life. And I know I have to like kind of crunch down and take on a few, maybe like two, which I already talked about that. I am doing it, but you know, in the state I'm in, it's just taking a lot of money and taking a lot of time. Because when you're so-called behind in life, when you've had so many kids and your life is just revolved around nothing but kids, you can't go out and pursue your career the way you want to. You just can't. And when it comes to doing small things in your mid-30s, you're just like, oh my god, how? It's like pulling teeth just to even get somewhere sometimes. And that's what I'm dealing with. So my birthday's coming up and I feel kind of eh about it. I'm always happy to get older. I'm always happy to be alive and well and healthy and moving and bouncing and all that jazz. I'm happy I can move, I can bend, I can squat, I can walk. I can, you know, I'm still healthy for the most part. I, I generally keep myself healthy. 
I'm working out more. I work out a lot as much as I can. You know, as you can see in my Apple Watch, I wear this thing all the time because I'm constantly keeping up with my movements. Um, on days I fail in my movements, I feel kind of bad because y'all know I'm very much into fitness and I'm very much into move your ass. Stop sitting around so much because being sedentary got me in a lot of trouble. Um, and I'm tired of it, you know? But again, not having a lot in life, not having the proper space and resources has kept me sedentary. Y'all know I'll be up if I was um, in an area where I was able to go outside a lot more and, you know, we had proper sidewalks and proper parks I could walk to and all that other stuff. Y'all, I'll be outside so much. I truly am an outdoor person. I would be always outside in the trees doing something. Like always. You know, of course, if we had a yard and all the other stuff. All the other safe stuff. But, you know, one day that'll come. For now, I'm just dealing with it. I'm just dealing with it. So, uh, yeah, until that happens, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. But these are my thoughts about um, turning 35. I know I don't look 35. A lot of people say that. Um, I look like a baby in most of my pictures. I put selfies online and I get young guys hitting me up all the damn time. Which is why if y'all follow my Instagram, you see my message under all my posts with me telling dudes to stop hitting me up in my DMs. Talking about, oh yeah, I heard you, Polly. Can we date? Can we date? Can, can, can I be your friend? Can, can I... <laughs> Got another nigga on the side? No, I don't. Stop it. You're embarrassing yourself. So yeah, that's why I do that. I really do get that a lot. I get these young ass dudes and even old ass dudes. Not too often, but mostly young ones. <sighs> they stupid. They don't pay attention. They don't read. They don't listen. They don't do nothing. So. Oh, uh, yeah. That's why I do that. So. Yeah, I'll be 35 soon. It's kind of scary to even think about. So like, where, where'd the fucking time go? You know? Where? Like, it seemed like just yesterday I was having my third kid. I guess I mean my first. But even still, you know, even that's baffling because she just turned 13. My oldest child just turned 13. She's a Pisces as well. She's 13 now. That makes me feel old as fuck. I have a teenager. I have an actual fucking teenager. <sighs> it's wild. Time, time, time is something, you know. <laughs> Cherish the time you have if you can, y'all, because working your life away is not it. I'm happy I've been home all this time to see my kids grow up. I haven't missed not one milestone. I haven't missed not one uh, achievement. I haven't missed not one of anything that they've done or accomplished. Not a one, because I've been home. You know, I don't have to worry about um, somebody else getting to see what my child is doing and I'm missing it all because I'm too busy working. I might not have the most money in the world, but that's what I chose. I chose to do this. I chose to have my kids close because I don't want to miss anything. I don't want anybody else teaching them anything. I don't want anybody else influencing them. I don't want them to get bullied. Y'all know the deal. I'm not going to go into a rant about why I homeschool. Y'all already know the deal. I've done multiple videos on it. If you don't know, leave those uh, questions and comments down below. I'll try to explain more, but y'all already know for the most part. Y'all been following me forever. If you my real OGs, you know. I'm happy to be alive. I'm happy that I am getting older and learning more and maturing. I'm maturing every day because... As mature as I thought I was when I was like 20 something, like maybe late 20s. That's how much more I've matured now because y'all, when you are in a marriage, oh my God. Marriage alone matures you because the person you married at first, if you've been married like over 10 years, the person you married 10 years ago is not the same person today. There's a lot of aspects of them that change. There's a lot of aspects of you that change. And that's what's so wild about it. It's like, it's kind of as if you got to relearn your spouse all over again. Because nobody is ever perfect. No spouse is ever perfect. So the version you got of them years ago is not the same version. Me and my husband have both changed in some ways. And, you know, in, in a marriage, that's that's tough. It's tough to find a way to work around that. And we just, we just been going through a little something, something. 
but you know, it is what it is. We've been married 13 years. In fact, it'll be 13 years. No, it'll be. Yeah. As long as our daughter's been here. <laughs> she was a honeymoon baby. Y'all know that. Um. Yeah, we've, we've been married forever. So. <sighs> and sometimes things don't go perfectly. But again, marriage is tough. Everything you do is tough. Being single is tough. Being poly is tough. Being bisexual is tough. Everything's tough out here. Whatever way you go in life, it's just gonna be tough. There's never an easy road. Even if you think one road is easier than the next, it's never fully easy because there's gonna be obstacles every path you take. It's just trying to figure out if you can finagle which obstacles are going to be a little bit easier for you to handle you probably take that road versus the other one because you can kind of see if you can pay attention and really think and see foresee what obstacles you're going to face going down said road you can try to avoid them you can try but overall you can't because we all face things life just throws shit at you and then you're like what am i supposed to do with this it's like you're walking in this gorgeous green pasture and all of a sudden you come across a junkyard you find yourself locked in a junkyard and you're like, whoa, which and, and the junkyard has like multiple paths. Think of a junkyard that has like five different paths to go, but it's all junk. There's like scrap metal piled to the sky, piled high. In each path, you have to go down there and you have to clean up all that junk. You have to turn it into something. You have to mold it. You have to shape it. You have to get rid of it. You gotta do something with it, but you can't leave it there. It's like a mountain of mess. And you have to do something with it. You can't just leave that shit there because it's just going to deteriorate and smell and cause chaos. And then, you know, you can't pass through the path. You got to clear that path. The path is starting. You see a tiny bit of the starting path, but you're not going to be able to clear it until you move that junk. And that's literally how life is now or for anyone. That's literally how being grown is, you know, mid-30s. And you feel like your life hasn't even started. Like me, I don't feel like my life hasn't even started. Practically. Because all the news racing kids, you know. And I didn't see my path when I got down. When I went down the path, I couldn't see it. There was no way in the world I could have seen. There was no way in the world I could have predicted what has happened in my life. Because majority of the shit me and my husband have been through started from family drama, family chaos, abuse. You know, all that stuff that I used to talk about in this channel. All the bad. That's where our life started. And that's where our life stemmed from. That's where our bad decisions stem from. That's where everything, our lack of finances, all of it. And I'm just, I'm done with really talking about it. I'm done with just sitting in it, you know. And this is a year where we're really going to start changing some things. Because I'm tired. I'm 35. I'm tired of being broke. I'm tired of being stuck at home, I'm tired of being, you know, friendless, I'm tired of just not having, not able to do it, not able to get up and go, you know what I mean, <laughs> move around and shit, and just not be restricted by certain things, certain aspects, you know, it just sucks. Being in your mid-30s, you kind of just want more, you kind of expect more, and you just kind of, you want to do more, so... This year is going to be a year of some changes, some real changes, and I just, I can't wait. There are some real changes going to happen this year finally, and I'm just, I'm really, really looking forward to it. Um, we're going to tell how fast it's going to happen, how it's going to happen, exactly when, but there will be some changes, because I want to be happier being my age. I want to be happy to live and not just be bored all the time. You know, I'm always at home. Um, when the kids get done homeschooling, I just go and play games, play video games, um, or edit videos. But you know, play games for fun, or I white watch a show, a movie, stuff like that. But I'm tired of doing the same old stuff in the house. You know, you want to do a little bit more, but you can't because A, B, C, D. You you already know. So I'm just like, okay. I'm done now. I need a little bit more adventure. That's been the case, but y'all, you know, if you've been following me for a long time, you know, last 10 years of my life, and even before, but mostly, I'd say 
eight to ten years has been just utter fucking chaos from the get-go just utter fucking chaos from family this bullshit that we had to deal with I'm not fully over all of it but I'm putting it down I'm putting the lid on it because I'm tired of that shit bursting at the seams because then when it bursts at the seams nothing is done you know me and my husband we just sit around and we boohoo together and we coddle each other and all that but it gets us nowhere in the end so time is up for that it's really up so <sighs> that's where my life is now like I said in a previous video I'm working on my music if you go to my website you'll see I have a page up where I mentioned my music I'm still working on that a lot of things to come I gotta get some things in order before I fully release it um yeah I am very busy but I'm very excited to be be here and be alive and be well my birthday's coming I'm not sure what plans I'm gonna have I don't have any plans really I don't really need to do much unless my mom feels like taking me out. Maybe sometimes her and my sister uh, take me out shopping or whatnot or to buy me something and whatnot. And that's all I do, you know. A little something, something is better than nothing. So, hey. It is what it is, y'all. So, um, yeah. Well, I think I've talked long enough. I think I'm going to get off now and prepare to make dinner yep it's 5 14 yeah i gotta start making dinner for these hungry kiddos i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to wish me a happy birthday on instagram more than likely if you don't follow me on instagram you need to go follow me um i always put up a birthday post i'll be posting and you can leave your birthday wishes down below on march 16th don't forget. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a great day, second hour, month, minute, and decade. Thank you for watching. Peace out.